and the pandemic has caused hundreds of thousands of Americans to lose their jobs, but the numbers are now showing it's been harder on women than on men. Well, Rebecca and News Channel 5's Mo Hyder is live in Cool Springs. And Mo, you can explain this to us. It's been difficult for a lot of families struggling to make ends meet, and apparently the numbers showing a little more difficult on women. Well, Nick, this is coming from data from the federal government. It does say that women uh, who left the workforce last month were eight, time, eight times more than men did. And that also becomes, as the nation still battles the coronavirus. Now, to break it down further, the numbers do show 617,000 women left the labor force last month compared to 78,000 men. That's data from as recent as last Friday. The, co the countrywide jobless rate remains at 8% for women in America as of last month. So why are the numbers low, though? Studies show industries that tend to employ a lot of women, such as leisure and hospitality, have been hit hard during this pandemic. So some women also point to added responsibility as home, like virtual schooling, that have them leaving their job. Some worry if this trend continues, this could worsen the gender gap. If it's bad for women in corporate America, it's worse for women outside of corporate America because corporate America has generally more supports in place. There are fewer women in the workplace already, particularly up in the higher ranks of leadership. If those women leave, we've got a real problem on our hands. And the data also shows that the lack of childcare options that are available has made some women leave their job as well. And experts also worry until these jobs are available or at least filled, many women will have a tough time going back to work. Live from School, school Springs, Ohio, News Channel 5.